Hey guys, uh, this is kind of an update for uh, my first 60 days of JB Hunt. It's gone okay. Uh, just like any, any other time you change jobs, there's kind of a learning curve for the new company, how things work, what you need to do to get your miles and get your money, and just learning the system, especially... Um, in my particular case, I'm running intermodal, so learning how to operate in the rail yards. Um, for example, I was just uh, at the uh, Burlington Northern Santa Fe rail yard this past week in Chicago off Cicero, and it's the first time I ever pulled an empty out of there, and I didn't know where these lots were. Uh, I had a map and it's somewhat confusing. <laughs> uh, it's been photocopied, you know, probably five generations back, so things are blurry. Uh, but I figured it out, but it, it took me a little bit. Uh, it's also becoming clear that in certain instances, I just need to use the telephone. They really love for you to. Just send them a message uh, across the PeopleNet system uh, because then they're not tied up on the phones and they can do more. Unfortunately, uh, now this applies to basically second shift more than first shift. They don't always understand what you're saying even though you, you may believe you're being really clear. And... You know, I take some responsibility for that, not being able to communicate what I'm trying to say exactly. Uh, but, you know, it's a culture of send me a message over the computer. And sometimes it could be done a lot faster if you just pick up the phone and we get the message across in the first 30 seconds and, and we move on. Uh, just for instance... Uh, at that same yard I was at, I was there to pick up a load. And Burlington Northern has an app where you can check the location of this trailer that you're supposed to pick up. So I looked it up and it said it was in St. Paul. Well, I'm in Chicago where they told me to be, but the load is in Chicago. So then I had to go into driver assistance to confirm that. And driver assistance says, yep, it's in St. Paul and won't be here till Tuesday. Uh, well, my delivery date for that load is Tuesday. So it just wasn't going to work out. So, you know, after almost 45 minutes of back and forth uh, on the computer, finally I'm picking up an empty. So, you know, little things like that, it's just, I, I have to learn how to operate within the JB Hunt system. Uh, and I'm doing my best to, to follow their policies, but sometimes you got to make up your own policy just so you can get the miles that you need. Uh, the other couple things, you know, you talk to the recruiters and they say a lot of stuff to get you in. And for the most part, the things that my recruiter told me were correct, uh, especially as the money goes. <clears throat> but <clears throat> my home time hasn't been what I'd hoped. Uh, I had hoped to get, get home during the week once or twice and then be off on the weekend. In reality, to get the miles that uh, they're talking about, pretty much have to be out a full five days and part of the sixth uh, just to get close to 2,500 miles. Uh, if I stayed out a full six, I could probably get 2,800 miles. And miles-wise, that's, that's not such a big deal, but uh, because they pay you for a lot of other things. So it's not necessarily just the miles. It's just if, if you are, uh, I guess, short on a day, like Saturday is my fifth day. I start on Tuesday. I go out Saturday. So on day number five, they know they got to get me home, but unfortunately, they, they try to get me home uh, too early. Uh, so it ends up being a short day. 
which is kind of nice uh, working four and a half days except for when the paycheck comes and it's not what you want. So uh, in order to get the miles, you got to stay out a little bit longer. And uh, on my normal travel route, which is generally up and down 43 or 41 from Chicago to Green Bay, that's 99% of what I do. Uh, I can't get to the house during the week unless there's some sort of stray load. It's only happened a couple times. Uh, anything that might be going to Madison or West. So uh, that I'm a little bit disappointed in. Uh, otherwise, you know, the rest of it's just trucking. So uh, I probably should have figured out a little bit more about the home time situation because that was important to me. Uh, but as far as the money goes, it's it's there. Uh, I'm not as happy as I'd like to be, uh, but I'm getting the paychecks that I need to get. Uh, so so that's good. So it's kind of a mixed 60-day <laughs> review. Uh, I also had to uh, adjust my start times during the day just to figure out how to avoid most of the traffic and get in and out of the rail yards faster and stuff like that. Uh, so, still kind of a learning curve, but I think I've got most of it figured out. Um, am I going to stay at JB Hunt? I'm not totally, not totally sure at this point. Uh, if I could find something that paid similar money and I could be home a little bit more often, you know, it, there's options. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I'm, I'm making the paycheck that I need to make. So it depends on what's important for you. Uh, I'd like a combination home time and good pay, and I think most people do, but some people don't need to be home very often, and you can make really good money if you just stayed out on this intermodal account. You can make really, really good money uh, because of the uh, other things that they, they pay you, congestion pay and uh, live and load pay, drop and hook pay, all that kind of stuff. So that's, that's all really good. Uh, you can end up with a good paycheck at the, the end of the week. You get extra pay for hazmat. I, I've only pulled one hazmat load, but just, you know, whatever, haul that load 200 miles, they gave me an extra 10 bucks because it had uh, hazmat stickers on it, basically. So, you know, there's a lot of extra pay and good pay to be had. So I, I can't complain about that. So that's kind of my first 60 day uh, update. I'll probably update again after 90 days uh, just to see where I'm going. Honestly, I'm I'm still looking at jobs because there I, I feel like there should be something out there that can pay me uh, what I need to get paid and also get me home a little bit more often than you know 34 hours or you know technically I've, I've been home for 48 hours but that's because I start late on Tuesday, but uh, my wife works uh, on Tuesday. <laughs> so uh, I might be home, but she's not. So anyway, uh, I'll let you know how things go and if I settle into it, if things improve or whatever. Uh, but anyway, there's an update. Hopefully uh, it gives you some information that uh, you want to hear. And... Hey, there's a button right over here on the screen that, that says click for more of my videos. If you click that uh, and subscribe, you'll know whenever I post a video. I know I've had a couple of reviews and stuff that people, you're not really all into the reviews. You'd rather see the driving or something like this. I get it, but I'm trying to uh, expand my audience a little bit. So subscribe, and if you don't want to watch that review video or whatever, that's fine. Don't watch it, but... Just know whenever I post a new video and, and help me out, share the videos. Uh, all that helps out. Uh, I can really up my game uh, as far as processing and equipment and stuff like that. And hopefully put out better videos that aren't shaky like this and all that kind of stuff. All right, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you again soon.